know, the pruning, it's, it can be hard work, but, but it's different. Working here is not like working back home. At home, there's no purpose, it seems like. You work, you get your paycheck, you move on. But here, you're a small part of this huge picture it, that what you do is making a difference and there's a reason, there's a purpose for being here and pruning. I'm Corey Jewell from Austin, Texas. I grew up in the church. My dad's a Baptist pastor, still is. For years, I would, I would lead worship for him with this church. And what started getting me interested in the land of Israel and also in Torah is, is actually just one question in, involving Christmas. You know, why do we do it this way? Well, at the same time, my wife started her eyes being opened more to the Torah. Her whole goal was thinking, just get me to Sukkot. You know, if I could, if I could get him to Sukkot, he could open his eyes and, and have the love for the feasts and the festivals of our, of our Lord. And um, for years, she kept asking me to go and asking me to go. And uh, finally, I was like, all right, you convinced me. They had this huge tent, it was like the circus tent, that's where they had their evening services. And um, it's the first night. So I'm sitting there waiting for the service to start. There's, you know, the little ambient music playing in the background, you know, the lights are kind of dim, just kind of setting that mood, you know. And I felt plain as day the Father speak to me. He says, you see this guy over here? And I turn and look, and there's this guy he's standing there, and he's, he's holding his Bible, and he has a tallit on his head. Of course, at the time, I didn't know what it was. Uh, this was all new to me. And he's just rocking back and forth. And you can see his lips moving, and he's, uh, he says, this guy, he's ready. He's ready to meet me. And then he said, he, then he said, look around, and there's other people. You know, they're just sitting there mingling, they're talking, and they said, they're not ready to meet me. For the rest of the Sukkot, I just started studying and studying, trying to figure out what he meant by ready to worship him and uh, understanding that the Torah is not only a guideline for our life, but also points to Israel. And so through studying how to worship the Father properly made me just want to be in Israel more and more. 2016 was my first time. Of course, I landed in Tel Aviv and I stepped out. I'm like, I'm in Israel, but eh, I didn't feel any different. But as soon as we, we got here, we able to see the sun rise into Every morning, being able to, to read scripture together as men and to worship the Father together. And that right there put my passion into a reality. Because prior to that, I, I was like, man, I, I see how important this land is. The Father it tells us that all throughout scripture, in the eyes of the world, you say, yeah, I'm, I'm pruning in, in Israel. They don't get it because they had never been here to understand the, uh, the impact that, that it it does for our lives, so you can feel it, but it, but also the people here uh, let you know how much it means to them, and it's, it's, it's just huge, it's prophecy. It's in scripture of why we, we should be here, and uh, I think that's what motivates you to keep moving and keep going, and uh, no matter if you're sick, if, the, if it's raining, or if it's cold, it doesn't matter, you just wanna be out here just working for the Father. I continually talk about it when I get home, you know, when you're here and you're standing on the mount where God spoke to Abraham and you're looking through the valley, it's just, I, I can't express it. The only way that you will ever know what it feels like is to be here. So if you want to, if you want to truly live the scriptures and understand and feel the scriptures, the only way to do it is here in the home of our Father in Israel.